Hey you guys, so this is the next day and I was cooking, starting to cook. I haven't cooked in days and I've been like, we've been eating out and wasting money and all of that good stuff. So today I was off from work and I said, you know what, I'm going to cook. And I decided to just pick up the camera really quick and show you guys what I am making. So today, we're going to have these... Um, the brand is Priano Cheese Ravioli, <coughs> and it's premium pasta stuffed with a smooth blend of fresh ricotta cheese and seasonings. And then I had some, like, extra ground beef left in, like, a Ziploc bag in my freezer. And so I just made some meatballs in this little bowl right here. And I just added some salt, pepper, onion powder garlic powder and some Italian seasoning breadcrumbs I put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the pan and now I'm about to put these into the oven <coughs> when they are done um, I'm going to toss them with some pasta sauce that I have and I do not have a lot which I knew this when I um decided to make this i only got like about a half a bottle left but i'm gonna stretch it with some water um and make it do what it do so i'm just gonna toss these in the oven right now as you can see i have it preheated to 350 degrees and i'm just gonna put that in there all right you guys um these i'm gonna leave out <coughs> but i'm not gonna put them in let me see stove top so all i gotta do is boil water put a little salt in there and then add <coughs> however many raviolis that i want to add to it until they get tender so super super easy i'm gonna clean up my mess now and then i'll check back in with you guys once my meatballs are complete all right, you guys, I just wanted to show you the process of my meatballs and how they are coming along. You see they are in there sizzling and looking all good. I'm about to flip them. And then I'm going to run in the basement and um, separate some clothes. I'm going to take you guys along for that as well. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm here in my basement. And in my basement, I have this three compartment laundry separator, I guess. I don't really know the exact term, but I have this in my basement and um, I got it from Walmart for like 10 bucks or something like that. And I use one section for like towels, sheets, pillowcases, things like that. And then the other two sections I use for clothes, you know, darks, whites. I don't separate my darks and my whites. Um, I separate my darks and my whites. Just move this cover over here. I separate my darks and my whites when I first get them. <laughs> but other than that, I don't separate them. Um, just because... You know, they start looking like this after a while, like all tattered and everything. So there's really no point of separating them at that point. So let me um, set you guys up somewhere so that I can do this quickly in a timely fashion. All right, you guys, here's the finished products of Mommy Balls. They are a little crispy, but that's okay. That is okay. They look delicious. They are not formed the way I formed them, but, you know, who's the chef around here? All right, you guys, so I'm just going to let those chill for a minute, and I'm going to start making that. Let me get my pot of water out, or my pot out for my water. Right. I'm out. 
we're going to use the one with the, the handle just because it is easier and i'm not going to measure the water because we're just boiling it so it really doesn't matter how much water is in there So I'm going to fill it up about halfway. That's probably a little bit more than half. Uh, yep, that'll do. And then I'm going to turn this bad boy on. Medium. My medium is like... My stove be off because my medium is like a high... I got the salt, y'all. Can you see that? Yes. All right. So I'm going to put some salt in here. Nice, generous amount. Because, again, the salt flavors. Look at my lazy Susan, y'all. I love it. The salt flavors the pasta. Let me put... Um, hold on, let me see. What did it say? I have to wait till it boils. Yes. So, I'll come back to you guys once this boils, and then I'll put the raviolis in it, and then we'll see how it goes. Mm. 